Uh, this is Ravi Kiran and today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure uh, group policy on uh, WSS uh, configuration like how to uh, uh, detect all the workstations and servers to the WSS console uh, let so 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 let me create groups 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 group policy and once ok click uh, the policy is creation that person 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 that persons will be that workstations will be uh, getting a policy updated so if I go to details, uh, it is enabled for uh, user and uh, works, uh, computer and user. So I'm going to select uh, user configuration setting is disabled. Okay, and uh, see, go to settings. So there is no policies configured now. Let's configure the group policy. Click on edit, right click, and go to policies and administrative templates. Windows components and scroll down you will have a Windows update in this Windows update uh, these are the options are enabled so first of all we need to click configure automatic updates so click on enable select you can auto download and notify for install auto download and schedule the install so for workstations uh, we can click this one schedule the install for servers we can uh, have a notify for install so better to schedule the install so let's have a time we can have a time like uh, a 9 a.m. or uh, after ending hours after business hours if the workstation is uh, connected to the LAN so we can we can select this one and click apply the policy is configured automatic updates and uh, specify intra site click enable and paste the poly, uh, group, uh, WC server name and the port is 8530 same thing and apply so now it is apply so automatic update uh, detection frequency we can enable like uh, it's a 24 hours so we can have uh, every 5 hours it can be detect to the uh, console and get uh, updates latest so it is enable and uh, you can always automatically restart uh, at the scheduled time that we can do uh, restart the timer will give users like uh, after patching uh, it will prompt for 15 minutes so we can have it 30 minutes okay they can not uh, uh, ignore the uh, time after 30 minutes compulsory the work session should be restarted and and allow automatic updates immediate installation uh, this policy will enable uh, the updates are uh, downloaded and ready to install so enable and uh, reschedule updates uh, scheduled installation uh, we can enable this one wait after system so if the status is set enable a schedule installation that did not take a place earlier will occur the specified number of minutes after the computer next start so suppose that uh, we have mentioned a 9 name uh, the patching uh, schedule time on first configuration so if 9 am, 9 am the, the work session is not powered on so next power down status uh, if your workstation is any uh, power down at evening 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock after uh, 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock after 10 15 minutes it can be detected the WSS console and get latest updates and uh, we are not uh, client uh, side targeting so we are not doing this one so whatever uh, workstation is an enable it directly default to an un unassigned group so we can move directly and uh, another one delay restart schedule installation uh, this uh, if this status is enabled uh, schedule restart will occur specified number of minutes after installation is finished so we can mention like 15 minutes and turn on 
recommended updates via automatic updates uh, this we can enable or disable uh, this policy, uh, policy is enabled means automatic updates will install recommended patch updates and patches uh, important from windows update service so we can enable this one now we have done everything so click close and now there is no policies here refresh refresh and see the policies are updated now let's see these policies need to be pushed to the workstation okay and close close and let's go to workstation and the workstation you can update uh, gp update slash force it will get the uh, group policy from uh, domain controller it takes uh, the seconds the communication between uh, workstation and dc it will take not more than uh, seconds okay now let's go group policy is completed successfully let's go to uh, 20 uh, wss console and let's select the computers and uh, all computers and let's see unassigned computers if it is reflecting here so okay it is not reflecting okay let's go to workstation we'll do uh, wcs command w a u c l t space slash detect now just detect it will detect and uh, again the same command uh, slash report now it will report to the wcs and uh, you can select the gp update once again it starts getting the policy updated from domain controller go to wcs server and refresh yeah now it is reflected thanks for watching uh, my youtube channel and uh, next video will be how to uh, approve the patches uh, critical and security patches to the workstations and uh, servers okay okay bye bye